Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director of Crown of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. What do you do if you are uh, the recipient of a personal protection order? The scenario is that somebody claimed that you were harassing them, beating them, stalking them, doing all sorts of things to them, so they went to the court and they got a personal protection order. Keeps you away from them. Might even keep you out of the, out of the house. Might even keep you away from your kids if your kids are included in a BPO. What do you do? Well, you have to understand, you have the ability to fight the BPO. The strongest time to fight the PPO is when you first get it. When you're first served with that PPO, you have a limited amount of time within which to file objections and request a hearing on the PPO. At that hearing, you'll be able to uh, uh, you know, demonstrate to the court that the allegations in the PPO are false, that you don't stalk this person, you have nothing to do with this person, and that may be this PPO is filed so that they can get a, a better position in a soon-to-be custody case. There may be an agenda, an ulterior motive for having the PPO that goes beyond, oh, I fear for my life, I need a PPO. In other words, the system may be exploited by the other person in a way of getting a PPO to better their position later on. That could be the case. And if it is, the court will set aside that PPO if it's persuaded that it's not necessary and that it's uh, being asked for for alternative reasons. However, um, the PPOs are significant. It's not something you should neglect. There are a lot of uh, jobs that have you know, security positions in them, uh, jobs that require people, for example, carry firearms and all this. If you have a PPO, you may not be permitted to do that kind of work anymore. So the implications of a PPO are serious. If you feel that a PPO is being requested and it's inappropriate, you need to file timely objections. If you let the PPO enter without filing objections and then wake up three months later and decide, you know, I should have done something about that. At that point, to a very considerable degree, your attorney's hands are tied. And there's very little he or she can do about that PPO. The best time to attack it is when you have that little appeal period, that, that timely period within which you can file objections and request a hearing. That's what you should do if you get a PPO. If you have any questions, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.